Hello friends, this is Jennifer Bateman with the Rappahannock Area Community Services Board, Prevention Services, back again for another story time. Today we're going to read Ricky the Rock That Couldn't Roll, and it's written by Jay Mileski and is illustrated by Aaron Wozniak. So let's read. Over the lake and out past the bay was a green grassy hill where the rocks came to play. They would race to the top to take in the view, then roll their way down the rocks, the way rocks love to do. Look at all those happy rocks. I didn't know rocks could be happy. They were Kip, Pip, and Chester, and Marvin the Boulder. Ignatius played too, though he was much older, and a group called the Pebbles never ever sat still zigzagging their way up and over the hill. I guess these are the pebbles. Kaya was a meteorite and not from this planet and Maya was lava but take it for granted. <laughs> Stu was the smart one and Parker the clown and grumpy old Elbert rolled round with a frown. Gabby was sassy and Leslie had flair and Emma was giggly and Hood had black hair. These rocks have a joke. Would you like to hear it? How do you make a tissue dance? You put a little boogie in it. So silly. I'm gonna have to remember that one. <laughs> but the one trait that seemed to be shared by them all was that every rock there was shaped like a ball. And because they were round, they could easily roll through the grass past the lake up and over the knoll. Except for poor Ricky, who quietly sat. You see, Ricky couldn't roll because one side was flat. His friends didn't get it. Come roll, they would chant. So Ricky tried, but replied, I'm sorry, I can't. But the rocks were determined. They were sure they could solve Ricky's flat-sided problem and help him revolve. So Marvin the Boulder, with his impressive physique, carried Rick all the way to the hill's grassy peak. Then he pushed him downhill, yelling, Keep rolling, kid! But Rick didn't roll. He just kind of slid. Oh. Well, the rocks weren't done, not by a mile. Surely this next try would get to Rick to smile. And they stuck rubber balls all over Rick using big globs of glue to get them to stick. And they were proud of themselves. This will work, they announced. But Ricky still couldn't roll. Now he just sort of bounced. Oh. Well, they pushed and they pulled, trying every which way to get Rick to roll. But by the end of the day, nothing had worked just like Rick expected. And he ended up feeling depressed and dejected. It's no use, Ricky sighed. There just isn't a way. So I'll sit off to the side and watch you all play. He's so sad. But his friends wouldn't quit. We're here for you, brother, and we'll get you to roll one way or another. So they pondered and thought, each straining his brain, till they looked up and saw it was starting to rain. And that's when it hit the smart stone named Stu. Eureka! He shouted, I know just what to do. He explained to them how they could get Rick to tumble. My plan is pure genius. Stu wasn't too humble. So they carried our hero down the road about a mile to the lake where they gathered up mud they could pile on the flat side of Rick, creating a mound that they shaped, smoothed, and sculpted until it was round. Then after the rain, with the sun in the sky, they left him to bake till the mud was all dry. And they gathered up vines and one colorful feather that they wrapped around Rick to keep it together. <laughs> when the last knot was tied and the work was all done, the only step left was for Rick to have fun. And they stood back and watched, feeling nervous and tense as Rick breathed in deep with increasing suspense and he moved slowly at first, testing out his new mold. And then for the first time, Ricky the Rock rolled. 
<laughs> That's awesome. So Bria the ladybug, who'd been there from the start, felt a surge of pure, pure joy well up in her heart. She thought as she watched her friends play on the hill that there's always a way if there's also a will. And she said to herself as Ricky rolled down the slope, when you're surrounded by love, you always have hope. The end. Thank you so much for joining us for another story time. Stay happy, stay healthy, and make good choices. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.